Pursuant to Chapter 20 of the Acts of 2021, this meeting will be conducted via remote means. Members of the public who wish to access the meeting may do so in the following manner by emailing Steve McCarthy at McCarthyS at AmherstMA.gov. That's M C C A R T H Y S at AmherstMA.gov. No in person attendance of members of the public will be permitted, but every effort will be made to ensure that the public can adequately access the proceedings in real time via technological means. In the event that we are unable to do so, for reasons of economic hardship and despite best efforts, we will post on the town website an audio or video recording, transcript, or other comprehensive record of the proceedings as soon as possible after the meeting. And so we'll call the meeting to order at 5.01 p.m. Thursday, October 6, do a roll call of attendance. Gaston. Here. Dylan. Here. Hallie. Here. And I am here and Doug is not. So we are four here with one absent and Next up is public comment, um, general public comment, um, not um, related to anything on the agenda. Is there anyone here? If so, raise your hand by pressing the hand button. And I don't see anyone doing that. So we will move on to um, our license hearings. Special short-term alcohol serving license application, SST-22-72, Peng Yu Chin Wine and Malt, Eric Carl Museum, October 8th, from 6 to 11. And is someone here to introduce that? Yes, we have Peng Yu Chin, the applicant. Oh, great. Hello, Mr. Um, you were able to hi, how are you? Hi. Hi, great, welcome. Um, so you. Would, you, would you like to uh, describe your event? It's a wedding reception held at the Eric Carl Museum mm -hmm. for 90 adults this Saturday, the 8th of October. And we will start serving food and drinks from 6 to 10.30. Okay, wonderful. And um, was there a map included with the license? It did. Yeah, I did include a map. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And did and it'll be held indoors. Indoors. Okay. Yeah. All right. Did everyone get a chance to look over the application? Are there any questions? Um, yes, guest on. Are Are there any? Um, are all the guests uh, above twenty one? Do you know? That I don't know, but my bartenders are tip certified, okay. and of course they will. Uh, ask for IDs if they look awfully young. All right. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, if there are no other questions or guess, comments. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Yes, I, Wait, um, I think you, the application said that you're not with the, the college, right? No, I'm not. So are, who, who do you work for? I work for myself. I run a catering business called Penu Catering LLC in Amherst. Okay. I've been around for a, a little while. Okay. Okay. So you're the you're the caterer uh, in charge of the wedding. Yes. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Are there any other questions or comments regarding this application? If not, uh, is there a motion to approve? I moved. Thank you, Dylan. Is there a second? I'll second. Thank you, Hallie. Any further discussion? If not, we'll take a vote. Uh, Gaston. Aye. Hallie. Aye. Dylan. Aye. And I vote aye. That is four to zero with one absent. The application is approved. Thank you Thank so, you much, so much, much for coming in and uh, best of luck with your event. Thank you. I need Thank it. You. Thanks. <laughs> bye bye. Bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> okay. The next one is the common victuals license application for the black sheep. And um, is this, Steve, is there someone here from the Black Sheep or is this just a renewal? No, there is not. This is just a uh, very late renewal. Okay. Um, any discussion about this or should we just, is there a motion to approve? Move. Thank you, Dylan. Is there a second? Second. Thank you, Hallie. Um, is there any discussion? No, all right. Let's take a vote, Hallie. Yes, I. Dylan. Aye. Gaston. Aye. And I vote aye. That is four to zero with one absent. The Black Sheep Common Victor's License is approved. So great. And on to 
zooming along on to our public hearings. Um, first one is adoption of regulations for the operations of lunch carts and food trucks in the public way. So I need to open this hearing. Is that right, Steve? Yes. All right. Is there a motion to open the hearing? So moved. Thank you, Dylan. Is there a second? Again. All right. Let's take a, a vote, I guess. Hallie. Aye. Dylan. Aye. Gaston. Aye. And I vote aye. That is four to zero with one absent. The hearing on the adoption of the lunch carts and food truck regulations is now open. Um, okay. So, Steve. You made a couple of changes. Uh, you said you talked to Brian Riley in the past week. Yes. Is that right? Okay. Um, so I will, let me share the screen here. Okay. Nothing major. We don't have anyone who's here for the hearing, do we? It doesn't look like it. Okay. Um, so I did just you know, change some some wording around some different things, lunch carts and food trucks, made sure that was all consistent. Um, I did change the uh, wording of mobile food establishment to reflect where that comes from in the health regulations. I don't think this will cover any watercraft, but we will leave that in there. Um, this is all pretty much the same. Um, I did make a, uh, a change, a couple of minor changes here that um, the tow vehicles could be for any lunch cart, not just on sidewalk and um, that um, those have to pay the Pay the space to if there are more than one space. Um, I did add this um, these penalties for non-compliance, so I took this off of uh, another one of our regulations. Um, Brian Riley did say that uh, we would be authorized to uh, do so under the statute without any special act by the town council. So I did stick that in there. So hopefully we won't have to re uh, revisit these for a while. Um, and I did add a uh, severability section as well. Okay. And the non-compliance was the thing that, yeah, right, okay. All right, good. Wonderful. And then, yeah, Dylan. Oh, I'm sorry, I just, the, um, the, the parking fees part, the, it's saying the 10 foot separation that's in both directions. So it would have to take up three spots for a food truck. Is that something we talked about and I, I just forgot about it? Um, I think we, originally one idea was to have just um, a, that all food trucks must need three spaces, but, um, they, we also had that it needed 10 feet, I think. And I, I, uh, I think we talked that the 10 feet itself would probably make sense because you could have a really big one where 10 feet or uh, where three spaces wouldn't be enough, or maybe you'd have a really small one. It probably would be in three spaces anyway, but um, I figured that would kind of cover anything, everything anyway. Well, I mean, yeah, I, had, I definitely had more time to, to read this and was necessary on this. So I'm not. I'm not about to start nitpicking this at the last minute here. So I, I love it. You know what? That's my. That's my position. It looks great. Let's look for the typos. Thank you. I'm sure there's a couple in there. <laughs> All right. Uh, does anyone else have any questions or anything to correct on this? Um, can we um, just kind of see how the that section that talked about the administrative approvals ended up? Oh yeah. Yes, where right. Was that? Good point. There it was. Okay. Okay. I I mean done there. We'll fix our typo. Mm -hmm. Um you know, let's have let's have the food trucks. All right, let's do it. So and then Steve, you said we wanted to put a six month delay effectiveness on the TIP certification. Oh, no, wait, that's the license regulation. I think that would Never be mind. the other one. Yeah, I think that's, that's the other one. To consider. Ne Never mind. I'm jumping ahead of myself. Okay, great. So, if does anyone have, have any questions about this or comments? If not, should we close the hearing and take a vote? You ready? All right. Is there a motion to close the hearing? Moved. All right. Thank you, Dylan. Is there a second? Second. Thank you, Hallie. Um, we'll take a vote. Gaston? Aye. Dylan? Aye. Hallie? Aye. And I vote aye, four to zero with one absent. The hearing is now closed. Is there anyone, do we have any other discussion at all? If not, then is there a motion to approve the, Steve, can you give me the title again? That is the- <laughs> What are they? Uh, regulations of the operations of motion. lunch carts and food trucks in the public way. Is there a motion to approve regulations for the operations of lunch carts and food trucks in the public way as we have here today? 
So moved. Thank you, Dylan. Is there a second? Second. Thank you, Hallie. Any further discussion? No? All right, let's take a vote. Hallie. Aye. Gaston. Aye. Dylan. Aye. And I vote aye, because it is four to zero with one absent. The regulations are approved. Yay. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for uh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Marion, for seeing it through. Oh, sure. Um, thanks, Steve, also for your immense help. And I'm glad we got that one done. So on to the next thing. Um, we're going to open up the hearing for um, li liquor license regulations and decisions. Is there a motion to open that hearing? So moved. Thank you, Dylan. Is there a second? Second. Thank you, Hallie. Um, we'll take a vote. Gaston? Aye. Hallie? Aye. Dylan? Aye. And I vote aye. That is four to zero with one absent. The hearing is now open. Okay. And so this is the one, Steve, where we wanted the... Yeah, I might suggest to stay um, a minor modification to the uh, implementation. Okay. Um, so I guess I'll go through any changes. I did um, make this uh, as set in the Board of Commission License Commissioner's fee chart. It might be good to put the fees themselves in here at some point, but um, I think hopefully we will be taking a quick look at fees before the um, the end of the month. So um, depending on whether um, we're able to get some good feedback from the finance department. Um, so I think we'll leave it as that. And if we do make changes, we can, we can maybe merge those two documents. Um, the fee chart might end up being the same, but I guess we'll, we'll think about that. I think this suffices for now because we have voted and officially adopted that. Um, in terms of changes, there wasn't really much we hadn't talked about last time and gone over. Um, my one suggestion was that we may want to, um, for the, uh, the um, validity uh, section, it takes, they take effect upon their approval. I might suggest that we exempt section 5.02, which contains the, the TIPS um, requirements part. Um, to maybe extend that that becomes effective in six months to give restaurants who may not have anybody who is SIP certified time to um, to, to finance that and, and have their employees go through those classes and so on and so forth. Okay, how does that sound to everybody? I think uh, that sounds fair. Yeah. And, okay, I guess we can do that. Yeah, I mean, if yeah. uh, I'm just thinking that if um, if not, I mean, then any any restaurant that didn't already have that would be immediately in violation after these are adopted. Okay. Any concerns about that, Dylan? I think my only concern is uh, what what's our mechanism at all for enforcement of that? Uh, what what are, we, what are you going to be doing about that, Steve? Are you are we giving you a badge and gun? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, um, unfortunately, no, the town is not, has not provided that. Um, it would look nice on my bedside table, but um, <laughs> um, I mean, we can, um, we could put a request out to, um, to all the licensees on I me. Mean, maybe, we, maybe we'd say April 1st is the day those become, that section becomes effective. And we would ask for a tip certificate from all the uh, managers of record. And then um, in terms of operationally, the manager on duty, the, the police department is the enforcement agency. So. Um, they would be able to sample or audit that at any time they go there. Okay. Are we are we going to make any sort of request to do it? I mean, I I just I, I like these. I like that we're doing it. I think we put a lot of time into kind of coming to this consensus. It just feels like it's for nothing if we're not going to enforce it. Um, and if we're not going to enforce it, then we shouldn't adopt it. It's just kind of my general feeling. That being said, I think we should adopt it and should enforce it. I just don't know how we actually plan on going about enforcement. Uh, it's, that's why I asked Steve. It just seems like your your wheelhouse. Are we gonna are we gonna make a request to the police department to check on that? Um, I think that's up to you to, um, to check on the the tips status. I well, have... I mean, you know, one um, one way of thinking about. I mean, I, I hear your point. We don't want to like create a nullity, right? Um, however. If the norm is in here and uh, any of these places has any other issue and then we ask for the records and they can't produce it, then it's a kind of an aggravation. That's one way in which it, it's not a total nullity. Um, 
uh, I think another thing that we could con consider doing is having like a check the box on renewals. Uh, uh, so that the the when they're renewing licenses, um, they're in a position to you know um, assign their name to complying with that requirement, um, and we could remind them about this and any other things that we think um, need to be highlighted. Uh, Steve, what what do you think about this kind of brainstorming here? No, I think that makes a lot of sense, and I think it's also important to parse out that we're kind of having two different discussions here. I mean, I was only proposing that um, this section, we give them in six months is just something I, I pulled out of a hat, but we do give them some time to to come into compliance with this because there was no such requirement before. So many managers of record might not have tips. Um, yeah. And if there wasn't some implementation period, I mean, unless they were attentively following our agendas, they wouldn't yeah. even know this was um, this was coming. So, um, and if, I think that, um, some kind of implementation period would be fair so they can come into compliance. But in terms of enforcement, um, which I think is a different issue, um, regardless of how long of an implementation period there was for this section, I think um, we it does say that um, when an application is submitted, the um, manager of record needs to submit a TIP certification. And if they don't have one, they can petition the board to supply it at a later date. But the assumption is that they would have to um, have it at the, at, at the time that the, uh, the application is heard. And then um, on renewals, we could request an active TIP certification for uh, any of the manager of records um, for this implementation period, whenever it expires. Um, we could, you know, say April 1st, April 1st, we need to have a TIP cert TIPS um, certifications from every manager of record and all the licensees. Um, and then in the, in the 2023 end of year renewal period, it can be just kind of a yeah, part, of part, the of check, part of the, part of the uh, renewal process. Exactly. Yeah, that, that sounds fine to me. I think it sounds, sounds great. Yeah, it sounds fine to me too. Love it. Okay. Yeah, Dylan. No, I'm saying I like that. Uh, it's oh, you do? Oh, okay, okay. And uh, I I don't love the idea of you know sending the cops and be like, hey, show us uh, show right, us you know. your <laughs> <tip> certification <laughs> to have confused managers say my what? So yeah. Yeah, I think for the manager of record, it's a lot easier to do it administratively because that's a person who's who's named. But um, for the manager on duty, I mean, who, who would really know unless you went there? That look good to everybody. Mm -hmm. That looks great. All right. All right. Was there anything else, or they they look good? Any other questions? No. Okay. Is there a motion to close the hearing? So moved. Thank you, Dylan. Is there a second? Second. Uh, thanks, Hallie, for the second. I'll take a vote, Hallie. Aye. Dylan. Aye. Gaston. Aye. And I vote aye. Four to zero with one absent. The hearing is closed. Is there any further discussion? No. Okay. Is there a motion to approve uh, these regulations? So moved. Thank you, Dylan. Is there a second? Second. Thank you, Hallie. Um, is there any further discussion? Last chance? <laughs> no? Okay. Let's take a vote. Gaston. Aye. Dylan. Aye. Hallie. Aye. And I vote aye. Four to zero with one absent. The liquor license decisions slash regulations are approved. Thank you very much. Thank you, Hallie, for all the work on this. Thank and you Steve all. And everyone. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Yeah, thank you. We need to now have these kind of as our little Bible during our hearings. Yes, I know. Get a little mini copy that we keep with us at all times. If you would <laughs> like me to um, print and mail one to you, I'd be happy to do so. Or sure. any, of the, any of the regulations, really. Um, yeah. We've kind of become so used to digital and COVID, but. Um, right. I can update my binder. Maybe right. um, <laughs> like uh, the landscape two pages on a page, both sides folded kind of thing. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Less like paper. A, yeah, like a pamphlet. -like. Yeah. I, I could <laughs> probably make that work. That would be great. <laughs> I'll have to f figure out why the. Uh, the print keeps yelling at us to replace the stapler cartridge, but besides that, I can send those along. It will be nice okay. and bound. Kind of fun. Cool. 
All right. Um, maybe we should have to stop by town hall to just like make us move. I'll, I'll go pick mine up. Yeah. 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 I'll pick yeah. mine up too. If you just let us know when they're ready. Yeah. All right. I am writing that down and I will um, try to get those ready for you. All right. Super. Thank you so much. And all right, so topics not reasonably anticipated 48 hours prior to the meeting. Are there any topics apart from what we're going to put on the agenda next time? I, um, I, I, I would say there was a really interesting Globe article. I forgot to forward it um, mm -hmm. about the uh, ballot initiative. Um, I don't know if you guys have followed this ballot initiative. I'm, I'm not going to do justice to it, so I'm going to send around the article, but um, it's basically raising the possibility of single businesses owning more licenses. And um, it has a, an interesting political history because the original company that was pushing it is no longer pushing it. And mm. um, it also has uh, statistics about how many um, requests at the town level for extra licenses were made to the legislature so i'll I'll, uh, I'll i'll forward that to steve to get around to us oh that would be great thanks yeah that'll be interesting to read yeah it will be i did okay. hear that charlie baker said he will veto any happy hour legislation that comes before him oh really god okay. yes yeah healy 2022 2024 whenever she's running let's go <laughs> do you guys see uh biden um pardoned all um marijuana possession federal offense yeah, that was good. I just hear that. I got yeah. pinged on that earlier. All right. Um, so next topics. So no other topics anticipated. I, I do rigidly. have uh, one oh, you actually. Do have one. Okay. Um, so just an update on our um, licenses and pocket licenses. So um, I am aware of two pocket licenses at this time, uh -oh. um, both in the um, uh, off-premises all alcohol category, which is our highest demand probably, at least uh, compared to the quota. Um, we are at quota for that. Um, and that is Cousins um, and University Liquors next to the hangar. And um, Cousins, I did speak with, I, I spoke with Brian Riley earlier this week to um, try to just get a sense of what to do because um, there is that provision that um, they can't really renew if they are not um, open for business. And mm -hmm. um, I guess it is slightly more complicated than that, but that is pretty much the case. Um, mm -hmm. And um, they will, um, so they will basically need to either be open um, in full, you know, full full form as approved and, and according to their special permits by November 30th um, and get me the paperwork by November 30th or um, have a full transfer application submitted by then to be able to renew. And in either case, I think I'm gonna send um, that official letter to them, giving them six months to um, make up their mind before we can actually take action on it being a pocket license. Um, okay. It has been um, quite a while for Cousins and they did have an application in this summer, but um, nothing else has been forthcoming yet despite um, promises to the contrary. Um, and University Liquors, I have not been able to make contact with uh, that owner. Um, I don't exactly know what's going on there, but it doesn't appear to be occupying the space anymore. Oh. Um, so that would be a, uh, a question of whether the board um, immediately takes action or um, to revoke because you do need to have control of the space or whether the board would um, refuse to renew and suggest a transfer or, or what kind of action would need to be taken. Okay. Um, yes, Gaston? Well, uh, can we basically uh wait until they apply and when they apply call them in to talk yeah that could certainly happen as well i mean if you reached out to them i don't know what else we could do but when they do renew we can call them in to the next meeting yeah and and that would certainly not be eligible for renewal um, without control of the space okay um, you know who their landlord is uh it's whoever owns that building i can try to look it up in the gis really quickly I mean, it, would, it might just be worth a call or email to the landlord just to ask if he know he or she knows what's going on. Yeah, I did have a um, a realtor calling me, so it was hearsay, but that um, he is definitely no longer occupying the space. So um, it probably would be worth a call to the landlord, though, to get a little bit more information. 
That is um, Gleason John Real Rentals LLC is the company that owns the property. So what is the process? Because usually we come across transfers or sales of a license like that. What happens if we revoke a license? Well, um, that is a good question. Um, kind of uh, you know, t skipping the rest of the process and going right to the point where the board has a, um, a very, you know, comes into possession of an in-demand license. Um, I guess there are different ways to do it. Um, I saw, I read an article a few couple of years ago in the Gazette. I think East Hampton had a uh, an extra a license that they um, came back into possession of of a. Uh, I think it was on premises, but it was a, a license type there, very much at quota for. And I think they actually had like a courthouse steps auction and um, and auctioned it off. Um, it could also do a lottery, I believe. Um, I think there are a few different schemes you can use. Um, I have had a lot of interest, a lot of people calling about these licenses and. Um, the uh you know some of them are suggesting just first come first serve but i think that would be a little bit ridiculous i mean there would be people um you know camping outside a town hall at two in the morning on january 1st like it's a harry potter yeah. opening or something um and uh i don't think that's really fair so probably something like that uh, it's just curious thank you so do, um can everyone hear me Yep. Yeah. Am I coming through? Yeah, my internet is not, it's kind of wonky today. Um, Your screen so, went dark for a minute, but we can hear you now and see you now. Okay, okay, great. Um, is the, uh, so you're going to try to get in touch with the landlord and then yeah, we'll just and, and wait? Yeah, and I will, okay. I'll, I'll keep trying to get in touch with the university liquors owner. I mean, I did leave him one voicemail, so okay. I haven't exactly been um, battering down the hatches, but. Uh, All right, and then you're going to try to send a letter to Cousins? To both of them, I think. Oh, I just want to make sure that we're very clear on um Okay. On expectations of what needs to happen. Okay. Um, and so we, um, we don't have to do anything until we get an update from that, right? Unless the board wants to, uh, you know, immediately schedule a hearing about the, you know, not occupying the space in terms right. of um, university liquors, then no. Okay. Do we want to do that? I think we'll just, we just want to wait for, to hear the results of the letter, if there are any. That's fine. I'm comfortable with Steve sending letters and then, okay. you know, if they show up and, and apply for a renewal, we can do, t talk to them then. Okay. Does that sound all right, Steve? Yeah, that sounds fine. Okay. All right. Is every, oh, is everyone else okay with that? Dylan and Hallie? Yeah. yeah. Okay, great. Um, thank you, Steve. So any other topics not reasonably anticipated? If not, not um, oh, did you have anything else, Steve? Nope, I said not for no. me. Okay, super. Um, so for our next meeting, which would be on October 20th, which is the third, right? The third Thursday. Yes. Um, we want to do just sticking to our schedule of keeping a focusing on a topic. Is that when we're going to do the license fee comparison chart? Is that what we're going to do? Hopefully, on yes. Yeah, is hopefully. That our next I do want to, um, yeah, I do want to get back in touch with the finance director. Okay. Um, and to see if he has any thoughts and hopefully if there's any, um, you know, solid recommendations, we could change that then before anything else goes out. Okay. Um, and um, if not, then we probably will, we'll miss the, miss the, uh, miss the boat for this time. But um, okay. I, uh, yeah, I do need to get back. Keep, keep, let me know if there's something I can, I can try to help with on that. Thank and, you, Gaston. Yeah, okay. okay. So is that the only topic? I know we were going to hold off on adult use. Doug isn't here and it, that's, turning into a more complicated thing. Is that correct? Yeah, I mean, I think yeah. um, there was an email that circulated within the town, uh, the town manager and some other town staff the other day about looking into, um, you know, marijuana licensing and that re replacing, um, replacing the host community agreement, which was getting some serious consideration. So right. um, I'm still waiting to, uh, to hear back what the town manager's decision on whether he'd like to take that path is or not. Um, but I think, um, you know, next week, next meeting, we will probably be hopefully doing um, license fee, any, any changes that might be made. And then um, okay. after that, we'll be in the heart of renewal. Okay. Um, so maybe we can, we might be able to touch on it a little bit in early November before it really heats up. But um, okay. December will definitely probably be, I mean, everybody will be busy with the holidays and everything. And, um, and the agendas will be, um, at least I'll be extremely busy with renewal. So I okay. guess you can kind of bulk approve the most of them, but. Okay. All right, that would be great. So the only discussion topic we have for next week is the license fee comparison chart. 
and, and we'll have a couple of short terms for sure and, and some short terms else to come okay through. just one last thing steve have you heard anything from hazel's blue lagoon he did um bring in his printed license and sitting oh, on my did. desk so they are serving the suspension okay um and they will get it back uh is it next or the sunday or the saturday i guess or sunday okay. all right this weekend i believe it expired the 8th i'll have to check um okay check exactly what the that's a good so that means check. they're they're legit or not on saturday i if i think the suspension was to be served through saturday so sunday they would be okay um but I, that is a good thing to check before the weekend and, okay um, yeah I'll bring probably, the business after that yeah. i'll probably give it to the police department to uh give it back to him if it's in the middle of the weekend okay all right great well so if there's nothing else um and we have our date for the meeting next and our agenda topics uh is there a motion to adjourn I move thank you dylan is there a second second thanks helly um do a roll call out of here helly aye dylan aye Gaston. Aye. And I vote aye. That is four to zero. If one absent, we're adjourned at 5.32 p.m. Thanks, everybody. Um, Dylan, I've enjoyed yeah. watching your guitar collection grow. <laughs> <laughs> grow. <laughs> I've, I've had them all for a long time. It's just I've now finally got stands to put them up. So. Oh, good. Good, good, good. Yeah. All right. Have a good week, you guys. You too. Bye. Bye. Thanks all for your Bye. hard work on these, and I'll talk to you in a couple weeks. All right. Thanks, Steve. Bye. Bye.